Hi everyone, welcome to Avnit Academy. In today's class, we will discuss two marks important questions on cost accounting subject. What is profit reconciliation statement? Reconciliation statement is a statement which exhibits the items to be added or subtracted to equalize the profits or losses of cost accounts with financial accounts. Second one is what is byproduct? So this topic is from process costing. Byproducts are the products of small value that are produced incidentally along with the main product. What is work certified and what is notional profit? So these two questions are from contract costing. Work certified is that part of contract work which is completed and certified by engineer. And notional profit is the difference between the value of work certified and the cost of work certified. What is normal loss? So all these things we have studied, I have explained you in detail in my previous videos. So what is our normal loss? Any loss arising due to normal factors like evaporation, withdrawal for test, shrinkage or sampling etc is called as normal loss and what is the treatment for normal loss the normal loss is credited in process account so in process account credit side we record normal loss we have already solved problem on this normal loss calculation of normal loss sixth one is what is operating costing operating costing is a method of costing which is used by service undertakings like transport, airways, educational institutions, etc. to find out operational cost and cost per unit. Seventh one, write two features of process costing. Number one, the product is standardized. Second, the production of goods is continuous. And the third is the finished product is the result of two or more process. In process costing, to get the final product, it has to be passed through two or more process to get the final product or the final output. So, previous questions paper and I refer to the So, you have questions and repetitively exams are clearly there. But you have the important questions and I this video cover I hope this video will be useful to you students. We'll see the next question. Eighth one. Write two objectives of job costing. Number one, to ascertain the profit or loss made on each job. Second, controlling of cost. Third, to provide basis for estimating the cost of similar job in future. Next is, what is contract price? This question is from contract costing. Contract price is the total amount that is agreed by two parties. Two parties means who will come in contract? the contractor and contractee. So, contract price is the total amount that is agreed upon by two parties where the owner or the contractee pays the amount to the contractor on completion of the contract. Tenth one, give the meaning of activity-based accounting system. It is a system which is used to find out production cost. It breaks down overhead cost between production related activities. This is from last chapter. 11th one, what is cost driver? Cost driver is the unit of an activity that causes a change in the activity's cost. 12th one, in which type of industry job costing is applied? So this job costing method is used to find out the cost of each job. This type of Costing method is used in printing press, automobile garage, repair works, furniture shop, etc. Next question is, what is joint product? This is from process costing chapter. When the raw materials are proceeded, two or more products are obtained and such products are known as joint products. 14th one, what is abnormal gain? If the actual loss is less than normal loss, it is known as abnormal gain. And what is the treatment for abnormal gain? 
where you will take in process account debit side you will record the abnormal gain correct we have solved problem and we have calculated abnormal gain also so in process account debit side we record abnormal gain and in abnormal gain account credit side we record from which account or from which process we got this abnormal gain 15th one mention two advantages of abc system number one it provides accurate data for profit margins second it evaluates the efficiency of production third helps in creating budget 16th give two features of output costing number one it is the simplest method of ascertaining the cost of production second products are identical third one this method is used to find out cost per unit next question why reconciliation statement is prepared as you know the profits of cost accounts and the profits of financial account is not equal because the principles of cost accounting and the principles of financial accounting is different the method of cost accounting and the methods of financial accounting system is different and certain items are there which are only recorded in cost accounts and not in financial account and there are certain items which are only recorded in financial accounts and not in cost account so due to all these reasons the profits of cost accounts did not equalize with financial account but to equalize this profit a reconciliation statement is prepared understood why reconciliation statement is prepared to equalize the profits of cost accounts with financial accounts reconciliation statement is prepared 18th one what is abnormal loss any loss arising due to abnormal factors like machine breakdown accident carelessness etc is called as abnormal loss and in ab and this abnormal loss where we record in process account credit side in process account credit side we record by abnormal loss and in abnormal loss account debit side we record the loss 19th one what is retention money the balance amount of the work certified is retained by the contractee till the completion of the entire contract and that amount is called retention money so this retention money is from contract costing chapter and the last question is calculate passenger kilometer so they will give you information related to a truck or related to a bus and we have to calculate passenger kilometer we'll see what information they have given in this problem distance covered is 200 kilometers number of days is 25 capacity 40 passengers and seats occupied is 60 percent so we'll start the solution passenger kilometers is equal to so whatever information they have given in the problem that we have to take distance into number of days into number of seats into occupancy distance is 200 km so write here 200 into number of days it is 25 and number of seats sitting capacity is 40 passenger write here 40 into occupancy is 60 percent multiply 200 into 25 into 40 into 60 percent and you will get total 1 lakh 20000 so total passenger kilometer is 1 lakh 20000 so five marks problem we have already solved five marks questions will be asked on job costing method then contract costing that is calculating the profit on incompleted contract then they will give you certain information and you have to prepare the reconciliation statement then operating costing that is calculation of total kilometers and total passenger kilometers output costing a small cost sheet five marks problem questions will be asked for five marks 15 marks question 
one will be from the reconciliation statement reconciliation chapter then second one output cost sheet that is preparing the estimated cost sheet that is to calculate the cost per unit and total cost then contract costing they will give you information related to one contract or two contracts and next is process costing preparing the process accounts so all these types of questions will be asked for 50 marks i hope this video will be useful to you students all the best for your examination thanks for watching my video